Let's unbox Water Sparks Muddy Water Buster and also see how to install it. This is the unit and this is fully SS304 and you have a PVDF membrane inside this filter. It removes 0.01 microns. And you also have these contents inside the box. This product packing is very intact. And now this is the inlet line where you're going to feed the raw water maybe your bore well water or your sump water or whatever it could be you can just feed it on this line and here this is the purified water outlet line in which you can connect it to your overhead tank. And also, you have another outlet line at the bottom which is a drain line. So what you need to do is you need to fix this and maybe you can you have a 3 meter tube along with this so you need to connect this tube and cut this and join and put a valve here. We'll show in the installation video. So you need to buy this from the hardware stores and fix this. This is an FTA with the union and this all those FTA of the union. You have to fix this couple of it together and then what you can do is fix it on this and also fix it on this okay and then you can use the unit so only then if you're going to fix these two you can uncouple these two and remove the whole unit outside so make sure you install a union on both sides which is mandatory. Now let's open this and see how what is inside. This clamp is an amazing clamp so it can withstand high pressure just to open this and remove this clamp out. This is a clamp. The inlet is actually universal but the outlet is twistable around 360 degrees you can put the outlet in whichever direction you require. See the quality of PVDF filter, this is an amazing quality here inside. It's very strong and not easily breakable and this is 0.01 microns and this is not an in-out filter this is an outside-in filter so it's easy to wash. And this is an all-new technology of 2019. It's the latest invention, all you need to do is the dust particles will be collected on the outer layer of this PVDF membrane filter. You just need to wash it in some bucket or in your bowl and then again. After washing you just need to put it back make sure you don't handle it very hard you can handle it soft so that the membrane is long-lasting. And I'm just going to show you a clipping how to wash this. For your understanding, we have made a small setup how to install a water sparks muddy water buster and this is the setup we have made. The tank which is on the left side is your source of water maybe your borewell water or your sump water which is murkish brownish turbid color and we're just going to see how this removes and then the water from there is going to your half HP or your one horsepower or any pump okay. Make sure the pump does not generate pressure more than 4.5 bar. And the water outlet is going to the muddy water buster here this is the inlet okay and this is the fresh water outlet and down here and you see here and this is the whatever the dust particles collected in the housing will be removed through this outlet valve this blue valve to be closed and opened during back flush alone i said early the right side pipe which is coming out of the filter gets goes up and it gets stored in your overhead tank as shown above I said earlier this is a new invention and innovation over 2019 and this is an amazing new product which is going to be the future and let's see what water this can handle. This is sediment water, of course you can handle very easily. Sandy water, it can handle easily and this is muddy water and none of the filters can handle but this one is a PVDF membrane filter which is 0.01 microns so it can handle so easily your water will be crystal clear and next comes the iron water. The iron water alone what you need to do is make sure that you store in a tank and make sure settle the iron. Do aeration and settle the iron in the bottom of the tank and after that you have to push it into the muddy water buster. Then you can get a clear water. And last one is the hard water. Because it's a 0.01 micron, of course, remove hardness only up to 20%. So this filter is not advisable. Thank you.